Bringale's Junior B highlights proudly brought to you by Booster Juice, highway number two in Bowmanville, just west of the Rickard Complex. Greengale's back in action coming off a loss to Nepean taking on the Orangeville Northmen. Greengale's already up one to nothing. Noah Piat hits Max Taylor in stride and he's off and running. He's going to hit the back of the net past Andrew Wilson. It's two nothing but that's the end of the good news in the first period. Northmen with the help of some power play chances get level. But then the Green Gales are going to have a 5-on-3 advantage, but it doesn't work out the way they want. And Colin Thompson scores while two men short. Northman take the lead. Liam Odette throws a cross-check here. And Evan Brake then hits Odette blindside. And that's going to lead to some fighting majors and game misconducts for both players as things get nasty in this first. And the period ends with a fourth power play goal for Orangeville of the period, Logan Sawyer going to make it 5-2 to two for the Northmen. Second period, Craig Johansson tightens things up at the back for the Green Gales, keeps his team in a game that looked to be going south. Mike Anderson in his first Junior B game checks in with a pair of assists, this one on Robbie McGrain's goal to make it 5-3. to three. Northmen continue to bring the havoc with the man advantage, Sawyer with the hat trick goal on the power play, make it 7-4. Third period, Green Gales come from behind to even the score. Robbie Baxter weaves through traffic and scores, and that's going to make it 7-7. But the Northmen would score the next three goals, including this one, where Mason Kreller has allowed too much time and space at the side of the goal. It's 10-7. Carson Christie nets the next two. This young man can shoot. Over two minutes to go, needing one more goal to tie, but the Northmen stem the tide using a first period and special teams play to take the points and hand the Green Gills a second regular season loss. Both teams had a good chance to win that game with a, a number of different opportunities throughout the game. Our defense really beat them down when we needed them to and our offense put the ball in the net when we needed them to. Sometimes the ball doesn't go where we want it to do and sometimes we don't always get the calls we want. What I loved with our team today was the resiliency we showed in every single period, not letting the moments get too big but really centering in on what our focus was as a team. So the result wasn't what we wanted tonight, but we'll have their number next time. Yeah, some work to tidy up in unsettled situations, whether that's us being on the man up or them being on the man up. Um, I think we need to, again, speaking back to not letting the moment get bigger than itself, our guys need to just calm down in those unsettled situations, and that's going to happen more as we go through the season for sure. You nailed it, right? Short memory. We want to be looking forward at what the next period holds, what the next play holds, what the next whistle is going to hold for us. We don't need to be looking at things across the entire season right now. It's just what's next on our schedule. And so what's on the road is we're going to look forward to three big wins.